Things will start popping up, especially west of Orlando. Yeah, you know, uh, the last couple of nights it's been right over uh, downtown, and I think tonight it's going to be just a little bit west. So that's weather with timing. If you've got plans in downtown Orlando, we're going to break all that down for you. Let me take you back outside right now, over towards Universal Orlando. It is hot and humid. Temperature will jump up here rather quickly at the top of the hour. We had a couple of. Uh, Little showers are in and around the uh, the city there and over towards uh, Universal. So we'll look for a quick jump in those temperatures at the five o'clock hour. We've got a fairly weak East Coast sea breeze today. We've got a more stout West Coast sea breeze today. So this is working inland. Uh, we think there's going to be a collision right along or just east of Interstate 75, right along the Sumter uh, Lake County line as we get you towards the latter half of the five o'clock hour there. So we'll keep tabs on that, give you updates uh, literally uh, every 15. To 20 minutes right through West 2 News at 6 o'clock. Keenisville, a couple of thunderstorms got a collision there with an outflow boundary in the sea breeze. We had some heavier showers and downpours over towards East Orange and right here in Titusville, but uh, these showers are uh, in a weakening mode there, so certainly some good news. The bigger storms, however, all right here, over towards Hernando and Donellan, just kind of drifting off towards the east, northeast. We'll watch uh, out for Fellowship and Rock Springs. May not even make it towards Fellowship, but it does uh, want to build back towards the north and east. So we'll continue to babysit that for you uh, going forward through the next 30 minutes. Downtown temperatures we mentioned, rain cool 82, 90 in Leesburg, 88 in Melbourne. Back towards the coast, temperatures are fantastic until you factor in uh, the humidity, and it feels like 98 at Cocoa, 97 in Melbourne, 96 in Leesburg. Leesburg and 95 right now is what it feels like with the combination of the heat and the humidity. So the hour-by-hour -hour forecast, the main focus of the storms will be west of Orlando and pretty much winding down after around or shortly thereafter the uh, 8 o'clock hour. By 11 o'clock, we are drying out and looking at a temperature close to about 77 degrees. So the forecast for tonight, early storms giving way to partly cloudy skies, overnight lows running from about 70 to 75 degrees here across central Florida with a light southeast wind. Future cast a little bit of Aggressive with the rain at 5 o'clock, and I think the place we need just to be a little bit farther to the west based on the radar trends. I like what it's doing by 7 and 8 o'clock over towards Ocala, the villages, and Bushnell. Things winding down right around 10, 11 o'clock. A little bit of patchy fog here. West of the metro areas. And then as we work our way on it to Saturday, here comes that East Coast breeze. There's your West Coast breeze. Watch what happens as we get you into four and five o'clock. Same location, west of I 4, along the Florida Turnpike and Interstate 75. So that's where the bigger downpours will be. Not to say that there wouldn't be any showers along I 4, but the heavier stuff will be west and inland. So the beaches will be a great place to be as we get you on into Saturday afternoon. Rainfall totals today, more likely looking at uh, one to three inches. Is west of Orlando. This is way overdone here uh, for uh, the next uh, 18 hours here across uh, uh, Orlando, Kissimmee, and points east. As we take a look now at the beach forecast for Saturday and Sunday, best coverage of the storms inland. Coastal uh, rain chances may go up a little bit by Sunday. Afternoon highs, upper 80s to the lower 90s. Let's take a look now at that updated uh, forecast for Saturday afternoon. Inland high temperatures 90 to 93. Coastal high temperatures will be running in the upper 80s to near the 90 degree mark. We've got a big event here uh, in Orlando tomorrow. Bolarama benefiting uh, cancer, breast cancer. Uh, kicks off at 10 a.m. 83 degrees. We'll be bowling inside, of course, but the rain chances will be running at about 40 percent as we get you on into the afternoon over towards uh, East Colonial. All right, let's take a look down at your updated seven day forecast. Rain chances both Saturday and Sunday running very close to about 50 percent. Average high temperature this time of year, typically right around 93. Folks, that is where we are going to be as we get you to Sunday. Okay. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. We'll have to watch the front across North Florida by Wednesday. Rain chances may be going up just a little bit by the middle of next week. Have you